Hello, this is Pearl from OwnThePool.com. Today, we're going to talk about how you can winterize your Intex pool. Because no matter how much we want to enjoy our pool more, the summer season for each year will always reach its conclusion. Unfortunately for those people living in places with extreme winter conditions, learning how to winterize an Intex pool is required to still have a working above-ground pool when summer begins again. Well, you do have two choices here winterize or disassemble and store your pool until winter ends. If you own one of those large Intex pools, then we can understand why you chose to do the former. So without further ado, here's how you can winterize your Intex pool. The first step is to gather your winterizing materials. Before you start preparing your Intex pool for the winter, you should gather all the materials that you will need. These are your Intex pool cover, pool pillow, winterizing kit that includes pH increaser, pool shock, algicide, alkalinity increaser, and calcium hardness increaser, your pool cover clips, a set of cable and winch to hold your pool cover. After that, you should start removing your Intex pool equipment. Once you have all the materials that you will be needing to winterize an Intex pool, do not forget to store your pool ladder, toys, and any other pool accessories you may have. Leaving them in your Intex pool can damage it. For your Intex pool pump, you need to remove all drain plugs, pumps, and hoses. Store all the drain plugs in the pump basket so that you keep them all together and you won't have a hard time locating them when you reopen your pool. Next, you must remove your old filter cartridge. Drain your filter, then rinse off the cartridge with a hose. Be sure to leave the valves open, and store the cartridge indoors for the winter. We highly suggest that you replace your filter cartridge, so that you will have a clean one once the new pool season starts. For those using a sand filter on their Intex pools, you should set your multiport valve to winterize, and remove the drain plug at the bottom to allow your filter to drain completely. The fourth step is to clean your pool and its equipment. Make sure that you thoroughly clean your above-ground pool and all your pool equipment. Some equipment can be hosed off while other pieces of your pool equipment like hoses might need to be submerged in soapy water to remove all the chemicals. Let them dry first, then store your pool equipment in a clean, dry place, away from direct sunlight. Next, you have to balance your pool water. Equals test the water and add chemicals until your water is properly balanced. Your pH should be between 7.4 and 7.6, chlorine should be between 1 to 3 parts per million, calcium hardness must be between 175 and 225 parts per million, and alkalinity should range from 100 to 150 parts per million. We advise that you aim to get on the high side of those ranges above before you close your Intex pool since it'll take a while before you can adjust your pool water balance again. The next thing you should do is to begin adding your winter chemical kit. There are different winterizing pool chemicals for Intex pools you can use when you won't be using it for an extended period. These chemicals will help keep your pool water balanced while it is not in use without the need for you to clean your pool weekly. You have the option to get a pool winter chemical kit or buy these pool chemicals one by one. If you prefer using the regular shock, then you must add it to the pool the night before you want to close it so the shock has time to work. This is why we strongly recommend using a fast dissolving shock instead of regular shock before you cover your Intex pool. After adding your chemicals, check your water chemistry, and install your pool air pillow. For those Intex pool owners living in cold climates, Placing a pool air pillow is a must. It helps protect the sides of your Intex pool cover and the walls of your pool from damage. You can use a pool air pillow to keep water and debris off to the side of the pool. This makes it easier for you to reopen your Intex pool. Lastly, you need to cover your Intex pool. To avoid any dirt and debris from falling into your Intex pool and the cold weather from affecting your pool's water balance and chemistry, using a pool cover to cover your pool is needed. Throughout the winter season, regularly check your Intex pool cover and do your best to keep it dry. That's everything you need to know when it comes to winterizing your Intex pool. This should help you enjoy your swimming pool for many pool seasons to come. Thank you for watching. For more Intex pool maintenance and care tips, visit ownthepool.com.